Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carisha from TravelWithCarisha.com and today I have a review of Honeysuckle and Freesha uh, by Bath & Body Works. Super excited about this review because this is it's not a new candle from Bath & Body Works, but it is a candle that's new to me because I missed out uh, when it came out last time. Because, I don't know, some of you may be new to my channel, but um, I'm a world traveler on a quest to visit every country in the world. And, of course, my travels have been halted for the obvious reasons. You know, and I feel no type of way about that. Lots of things going on um, right now. So, I'm pretty much at home. And um, But because of my travels, sometimes I would be gone for three weeks, a month. And, unfortunately, I just missed out on this candle. And by the time I got back home, it just, you know, I was on to some, some other new candles. So... There were a couple that slid through the cracks. So when I saw this, I had to grab it. Um, so super excited about this review because there's something about this candle that I was not aware of. So I pulled up reviews and nobody said anything about it. And I'm like, hmm, let me let me do a review and see what everyone, you know, thinks and has to say. So let's just hop right into it. Um, so the notes on it are um, garden honeysuckle, sugar, citrus zest, Freesia petals, of course, with essential oil. So that's a good combination. I definitely smell all of that in this candle. Um, the, the honeysuckle smells so good. Um, and then the citrus gives it a nice little uh, zest to it. And then, of course, you know, the freesia smells so good. Freesia is a, um, a flower from South Africa. And it's really on the sweeter side. Um, some people say to them it smells like fruity pebbles. Um, but to me, it's just a tad bit more mild than that. But um, a really nice flower. I love, love, love the freesia flower. Um, so you definitely get all of that. For So for the notes, they did a really good job on this candle. Um, so let's go to the scent. And this is where I was blown away. This is where I was like, oh my gosh. The minute I was in the store and opened it, I'm like, what is that smell? <laughs> And then I got home, I'm like, that is something I know. That is something I love, that smell, that smell. And it just brought me back to the late 90s, early 2000s, when I was just a young girl. <laughs> and then it dawned on me, oh my goodness, this is Clinique Happy, you guys. I have to go into the vault, baby, because look at all this Clinique back from back in the day. Clinique is my jam, honey. I don't even know... You know, I don't even know if this even still, look at this bottle. This is, <laughs> this is so old, you guys. I need to throw it away. But um, when I, when it dawned on me that this is Clinique Happy in a candle, I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> you guys just don't realize this was my jam. I was so in love with Clinique Happy. Um, you know, I don't wear it anymore. Haven't worn it in so long. This probably needs to go in the trash. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> smell them and see if they're even um you know still any good, but it is the bomb. Is anybody a Clinique happy girl? Let me know. Did you like it? Do you still wear it? But anyway, Bath and Body Works has literally um bottled up the scent of Clinique Happy into a candle. So I said, okay, just hold up, Carisha, just relax let's see if what you're thinking is true. So I burned it and I got Clinique happy. Then I said, okay, y'all, if you ever see me pull this out in a video, that means I got notes and it's serious. So I said, well, let me go pull up the notes on happy. And the notes on Clinique happy are honeysuckle. Okay. Garden honeysuckle. Look. Look at that candle. That's the number one note. Um, honeysuckle, bottom notes of honeysuckle. Two, bright, upbeat, citrus top notes. What does that say? That second note? Citrus. I know it's backwards for you guys. Sorry. And then the last one is magnolia lily orchid. And of course, instead of the magnolia lily, this has the freesia. But literally, honeysuckle, zest, and flower petals. So, um... Obviously, if I'm in love with Clinique Happy and they bottled up Clinique Happy, the scent is going to be off the charts for me. So, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I just feel like I'm late to the party with this one because I missed out on this candle and I never saw anybody talk about how it smells just like Clinique Happy. So, I'm just over the moon. So, of course, for the notes, they got 25. And, of course, for scent, if I could give them 50, I would. This candle is just so good. I love the smell of Happy. 
So to have it in a candle, it just brings back memories for me. Um, so obviously for scent 25, so they're already at 50 out of 100. The throw is really good. So let's go on to throw. Throw is good. It's not super strong and it doesn't need to be because it's, I mean, it's pretty much a perfume um, bottle up, so, but you know, that doesn't need to be strong and overpowering. So on a scale of one to 10, I would say the throw is about a seven, which is perfect for this candle. Um, every candle doesn't need to have a strong throw. It doesn't need to have a weak throw. It just really depends on the candle. And I think the throw matches with, you know, the notes of the candle so that it's not too overpowering. Um, because nobody wants to be hit with a perfume smell, right? So 25. Um, maintenance, not a whole lot. The wax is really pretty. Um, no issues whatsoever. Um, I have had some issues with other candles in this line with this packaging, which we're going to get into because I actually have quite a bit to say about Wildberry Jam Donut. And I may post this, um, probably be up tomorrow, but yeah, there is a no way, excuse me, Sorry about that. There is was getting a, a phone call. There's no way that candle was getting 100 because it's been nonstop drama. Um, so I was happy to see that this candle didn't require any maintenance. The waist looked really nice. Got a little bit of um, mushroomy, but nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, yeah, didn't I did not trim them when I first lit this one. So that's really good. None of the, even though I have a little bit of mushrooming, none of it dipped into, you know, my wax. So maintenance has been good so i highly highly this is part of the spring collection um i definitely recommend getting this candle out of the um you know the spring line i just haven't heard a whole whole lot about this candle and honestly out of the new candles that i've gotten in this packaging it literally has been one of my favorites it's such a pleasant smell the burn is really good. It's just perfection. And then a candle that brings you back to the early, the late 90s, because I think Happy came out in what, 1998, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I, you know, I was young. I'm still young, but I was really young then. <laughs> so this just brings back so many memories. So I'm definitely going to pick up another, um, another one of these because this is so, so good. So y'all, a hundred 100 points for this candle i have to give it to them they they did that um i don't know how i feel about them basically bottle, bottling up happy into a candle but it works for me <laughs> it's pleasantly surprised so i definitely recommend it so i want to know what do you guys think about this candle did you like it um also wanted to show you all what i'm burning and that is pink watermelon got some things to say about this one i'm gonna try to put this up i may have to do two tomorrow because you guys i have some things to say about pink watermelon um so that is my review and i hope you have a wonderful day comment um and let me know what you think about the candle and what reviews you want to see i will see you in the next one bye